In the West Yorkshire city of Wakefield, a group of railway modellers are working on a unique project to build a railway layout of Lancaster's lost station, Green Air. We caught up with Jamie Guest, the man behind the scheme. I suppose it's genetic. Uh, my father was a railway enthusiast and uh, I've always had trains in my life. We've always lived by railway lines. My father also had a model railway, um, which I played with as a child, and he built one for me, me and my brother. And the hobby has just stayed with me all my life. Well, as a teenager, I tried to build a model of a quarry at uh, Helworth Bridge near where I grew up. Um, that never got exhibited, and it was a bit big for my bedroom. Uh, then I started a model of Woodlesford, where I'd moved to when I came to work in West Yorkshire. Um, and then when I saw the light and moved into a larger scale, which is O-Gage, which this railway is, I started with Long Preston, which was a good model. And that was my first exhibition layout. Um, the station area of that is now in Long Preston Village Hall. And I wanted a new subject, which is where Lancaster Green Air came into being. And Lancaster seemed to hit all the buttons. It was compact, it had a loco shed, there'd be plenty for visitors to see and it had the electric trains which particularly fascinated me. It's not easy building a model of a station that doesn't exist anymore as you will know, viewers will know there's only green grass and the remains of the cattle lot left at the green air site plus the rather busy A6 road. So there's an lot of research gone into the model I set the model in 1923-ish. Um, the main reason for this is that the rolling stock which I built for Long Preston is specific to this area, the northwest of England and the Midland Railway and that era. So I wanted a station that was that the same rolling stock would have run through. And apart from a few trains that only went to Carlisle, everything that went through Long Preston, most of it would have ended up at Morecambe and Hesham and through Lancaster. Uh, so that's that everything fitted and that's how the uh, model came into being. So it's set in at some point, probably mid-year in 1923. Uh, the LMS has just come into being and so that gives me an excuse to have visiting locomotives from other areas of the North West, such as the Furnish Railway Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway and the London North Western who had Castle Station. This area which you can see um, is the coal yard which was along Parliament Street leading up to Skirton Bridge where the grass is now but it was a busy area full of different coal merchants all of whom supplied Lancaster and these are mock-ups of buildings that we know from photographs and plans but we haven't got any decent detail of. Uh, so we've put the mock-ups to make to see whether it looks about right. But there's a lot of detail still to go into the coal yard. We know there'll be piles of coal, there'll be horse-drawn coal carts, there'll be coal merchants, no doubt uh, somebody smoking a pipe and uh, leaning on a shovel. And this is the sort of research that has to go in using as many sources of information as possible. And I've been very fortunate um, to inherit some old plans from the 1890s and from 1907. Lancashire County Council, their bridge master, provided the original plans for Greyhound Bridge, and that's how we provided uh, modelled that. And uh, I've got some original plans of the station and some and the steelwork for the overhead electrics. And from that, the model has been put together and planned taking into account the various constraints of an exhibition model that has to be taken apart at the end of a show and stored in a shed and then put back up six months later. And it has to be a model that can be viewed easily by the public. So it looks a little bit different, but the station area is almost as exact as we can make it a copy of what Green Air Station was in 1923. The layout's having its first public show in Wakefield on the 20th to the 22nd of November this year, 2015. 
Its next outing after that will be at Nottingham on, I think it's the 19th and 20th of March 2016. It'll be at the O'Gage Guild Show in Telford in Shropshire in September 2016 and at the NEC in uh, Birmingham on in November 2017 and as Alexandra Palace in London in March 2017. So I've got a good team of friends who are helping me with the layout and uh, if anybody comes to see it we'd be uh, very pleased. In particular I'd be pl very pleased if um, it was able to come to Lancaster one day there are various challenges to overcome for that so that people who lived in Lancaster could tell me what we've got wrong and then we can make the model a better one.